Okay. Uh, this is uh, Jay. Uh, back here once again with uh, <clears throat> a Saber review video. Uh, this one is for an older Saber of mine that uh, really hasn't had a video of its own before. Um, but this was uh, the one I called uh, Chrome Saber Number One, or my first uh, Chrome Sync Tube MHS combination lightsaber. Uh, this started out years ago as a simple uh, stunt and then wound up having a uh, Master Replica's Darth Vader board in it until just uh, this afternoon when I removed all that. I started working on it yesterday and I removed the uh, the MR board and the uh, removable battery and speaker pack that was in it. I had one of these. I ran on triple A's. Right, uh, double A's. And had a recharge port. I used nickel metal hydride and rechargeable batteries in it. Uh, now it has a uh, lithium ion power source, uh, which is fully rechargeable in the hilt. You can't take it apart uh, to change the batteries. Uh, and it shouldn't be necessary. Uh, this one has a double um, uh, 18650 uh, battery pack that is wired for 3.7 volts and about 5200 uh, milliamps per hour. Uh, so we're looking at probably about five, five and a half hours of runtime out of it. Um, it runs a Luxion 3 uh, red LED. Uh, we have the uh, red ring AV switch. Here's our uh, auxiliary button. Is that right there? Charge port. This is uh, I consider this to be my Sith type saber. It's the only one I have. That's the uh, boot sound for Mad Cow's uh, Revenge. Sound font. And this one runs a uh, simple one watt round speaker. It's located right about here. Uh, the 18650s are here. There's a nice, perfect fit in between there. The Ace Rocket, Obi Wan Pommel. Uh, this is a one off that was made for use as a slip fit. There are no MHS threads on that, so what I did was I cut a section of the MHS uh, body tube down, and these screws all secure that all together. So you cover the pommel and she gets real quiet. You can just barely hear sound effects coming out of the recharge port. Pretty sensitive. Lock up. <clears throat> oh, just want to show this off. This took some interesting uh, cramming to get everything in there. Um, since there, this does not use a uh, uh, MHS uh, sync tube adapter because uh, when I originally bought the parts I was going to go cheap on it and I did so what I did was uh, drilled and tapped holes to mount the uh, ribbed extension directly to the sync tube. Uh, a typical ribbed extension would have more of the ribs visible uh, like the speed groove. No, so the, the mounting holes are actually drilled in between the, the ribs there. Uh, my recharge port is actually mounted in a hole drilled through the threads and there's a big cutout to go around the uh, auxiliary switch and surprisingly enough with all the cutouts and hacking I did on that part it still threads into an MHS piece uh, well, let's see what else that's about it so uh, there it is that's my original chrome saber this is now version 4 or 5 of it now I think I may be actually be done with it for once uh, at least for another year or so. So, as usual, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.